Hello everybody, it's been a while since I put up a tutorial, so I'm gonna get one going today. If you have never seen my natural hair, this is this is the hair, this is the fro. This is the time for natural leases to shine during this quarantine, because I don't have to worry about um, going to the beauty shop, so I'm rather enjoying this. But as you guys know, I always say, before you go into a head wrap, protect your hair. Again, this is just a little silk cap. I'm gonna try to find some of these to put on the website. It might take me a while to get these things shipped, but I'll let you guys know when I find them and make them easily available for you when you purchase head wraps from me on sunflowersandhoneypots.com in case you don't know the website. But this will always, always, always protect your hair because you want the cotton on the head wraps. Unless you're using the, um, the chiffons, you're fine with those, but anytime you, you use cotton, you always want to protect your hair because cotton will break your hair off. Plus, it keeps it moisturized because these can dry your hair out. The, the cotton, it'll, it'll happen. So anyway, today I'm going to be using one of my head wraps from the website. It is available. It's called The Roots. Very cute, very cute. Bright orange. It's got some yellow and, and navy blue accents in that and we're gonna do the Zobo okay we're gonna do the Zobo probably one of the favorites that I do when I'm out at the, at the markets and very easy it's basically like tying a shoe so again you're going to extend your head wrap mine are 72 inches long 70 72 inches long and about 22 inches wide and we're gonna fold it in about one third of the way, as you can see right there. This folded in is going to go on the back of your neck. So I'm going to put that at the base. Have your two ends even. And position it over your ears where it's comfortable for you. And you're going to tie it. Like if you're just literally tying a bow. You want to secure that down. That'll be covered at the end. Take the end. And literally tie a bow. Pull your ends out. I'm gonna cover my cap underneath. And because this is African wax print, you can sculpt, you can form, you can do whatever you want with that and you're going to just pull the ends of the bow out and make it as grand as you want, as small as you want, but it's pretty, um, this is pretty grand, we're gonna go big. Go big or go home, right? And that is it. Make it closer so you guys can see it. As you see, it is literally just a bow. It's like tying a bow on your shoe. Again, this one is The Roots. It is available on the website. And this is the Zobo. Check out my other tutorials on there. And I will start rolling more out as we're stuck on this quarantine. And that is it. Have a blessed Friday. Hope you're being safe with this quarantine. And 